It's me, Evan Gatcher, and today you will be viewing the first of hopefully very many art videos, time lapses, and tutorials. I pretty much am aiming for inspiring artists that want to learn how to draw, use techniques, and all that stuff. Now today, since it's my very first video, I really don't know much about YouTube, um, I will just be going over the pens that I'm using, what you can use, how you can use them, um, and how our art videos will be run. So let's get started. Uh, okay, so let's start off with my pencil. This is, um, you can get it at Michael's. Uh, it's worth your money because they're pretty good, but if you really don't want to use them, you can really use any other ordinary pencil. They're all the, pretty much the same. We won't be using pencils that much. It'll more be other t mediums. So, yeah. Uh, next, we have our pens. These are three of the four types that I will be using. Sharpie, Neopico, Copic, and Prismacolor. Um, I would say mostly we're going to be using Copic. Um, you can, they're not, I mean, you can buy one pen. I think it would be worth, worth your money. I think they're like $3, uh, $6, $3 a pen. Um, but it really doesn't matter. You can always just use a cheap $1 Sharpie or Neopico is like from Japan. It's kind of crazy. Next we'll have are mark my markers that I use. These are the main two types that I'll be using. Prismacolor and Windsor and Newton. You cannot see this. Um, they're both very expensive, so I would recommend not getting them. But you could always use colored pencils, uh, Crayola, any of those brands kind of work. Uh, Windsor and Newton is very hard to use, and I have not completely mastered them yet, so I probably will mo mostly be using Prismacolors. Um, if you have any other marker types you know of that are cool, just leave it in the comments, and that'd be awesome. Next, we have our colored pencils. These are probably what, if anything, I would recommend you not to buy. Now you see all this? This is just a eighth of all the colored pencils that I have. And they are very pricey. So I would say the best brand for you to use would be Crayola because they actually, they're so-so. And the color quality of them is really good. So yeah. Um, also, I will be going telling you about my sketchbook this is mainly the type that I use I like this kind um, it's nice and spiral bound um, you can just get them at any Michaels probably Target any of those places and pretty much when we use our sketchbooks, it won't be the main drawing. Sketchbooks will be us planning out what we will end up drawing, like plans and stuff. Because when it comes to it, a regular piece of paper, you can do the most with. You can put it in a frame and sell it. You can give it to your art teacher as a gift. You can give it to your friend. You can do anything with it. You can fold it. You can put it in your pocket and brag about it to all your friends. And with your sketchbook, I mean, yeah. So, also, pretty much in this entire YouTube, we'll be doing different types of art. Um, some time lapses, but not that many because they're really hard to make. Uh, we'll, doing, we'll be doing mostly tutorials. And before you log off, like, oh, this kid can't do anything, uh, I think I should show you an example of some of my artwork. Well, here's the first... Oh, crap, I'm sorry. 
here is the first piece. Um, this has lots of little details. So, it's very, takes a while. Here's another example of that. I did this for the Gay Pride Festival. And then, finally, we have this, which is, I do a lot of mid-century type things. Um, they're really cool, and I think you will enjoy drawing them. I do many other types of styles of artwork, but they're all off back there. So, and I think that's pretty much it. For the tutorials, it might take two episodes, it might take one, uh, 20, 30 minute episodes each, and well... Thank you for watching this for, for first video all the way through. Please like and subscribe, and we're out.